Hello there, Chris here from Becker's Models. Welcome to the channel. And today I've got a inbox review that might turn into a build review to see how much time I've got. Uh, because I f I'm finding inbox reviews just do not give enough of a picture of what's going on with the model. Uh, if you watch my Antonov 225 review here, have a look and then look at the build over there. If I've put it up by now. So this is the ICM kit. Uh, and ICM are from Ukraine. And yep, they're still operational. Thank God below, thank dog below. And this is their C18S, I think it's a beach uh, magic by Moonlight, the Airshow aircraft. They do many boxings of this particular one. And the one that got me really excited about this is I heard that this can be done in flight. So for, you know, 99% of you out there who don't care about that, that's fine. But for me, it, haha, <laughs> lovely. And it's a civilian subject. And more and more, I want to be doing civilian subjects get sort of slowly move away from the military stuff. I mean, it's still interesting, obviously, stuff. But uh, yeah, anyway, enough of that. Let's dive in, have a look. Got this on sale for, it says it was $56. I don't know how much they retail for now. Now, ICM are renowned for having a relatively flimsy outside box. You know, it's, it doesn't survive the stash rash, as I call it. You've got some folds and that, but the good thing is they have a nice solid inner box. Okay. Uh, a post, almost like a post-it box, so that opens up the, like that, and here we go, so let's dive in. ICM have a really nice glossy outside uh, A4-sized instruction booklet uh, with the glossy bits on the outside, we've got a nice matte finish on the inside, so the glossy bits have a full colour uh, call out there on the inside cover and on the back, and then a nice shot at the front, and then you've got your English and Ukrainian instructions, they use both Ravel and Tamiya. Uh, color call outs there at the bottom. Let's zoom in so you can actually see what the hell I'm talking about. Okay, there we go. And yeah, let's just have a quick look through. So sprue map at the start and then some basic instructions. And you, I've built a few ICM kits. I've built their lovely once 30 second scale I-16 uh, fighter. That went together surprisingly well. The detail was a little bit soft for 132, but it was a really good build and very clear instructions. So. Being a civilian airliner, this is just two fuselage halves. You've got some uh, a nice instrument panel there at the at the front, and lots of seats to go inside, glasswork, etc. Uh, fuselage halves to go together, and then we have it looks like wheel bay. Yeah, we've got the wheel bays. Okay, now they do tell you to put uh, put the the wheels, the landing gear struts in, but if you go a bit further forward, and here's the engines engine faces really just go in there and then we've got ailerons which are posable that's really good every aircraft should be like that have posable flying services the one piece wing goes together and we still got to go a bit forward a bit further forward and here we go so they don't actually spell it out but that's wheels up okay let's have a look this is wheels up, so they give you the closed covers. They give you a question mark here, use D63, use D62. With the wheels, just they sit a little bit proud. Now, if I'll just fast forward, bear with me. Oh, here we go. The final page, they don't actually tell you to go. You've got to be careful. You've got to read through every step because they don't tell you. But here are the separate parts for open doors. Okay. And it looks like, from memory, I've also, <laughs> I've been trying to rack my brain on this. Where is, okay, here, here's the... Here's the, uh, the tail wheel doors that are open, but where's the option for keeping them closed? And, um, you know, I've got, to, I've got to look around. Let's go to the start again. So this is the one confusing aspect of this build. They don't very clearly tell you, hey, this is option A, option B. So let's have a quick look. I think, aha, here it is. Step 13, just mentioned there, question mark, D30. So that's obviously a block off plate that you put when you sandwich the two fuselage halves together. So there we go. Review is over. It can be done wheels up. Hey, hey, go buy it. Highly recommended. Do it. No, no, no. Let's just skip this and let's go have a look at the parts and I want to see how well it goes together. I really am. I'm going to take this apart, cut the sprues off. Let's tape it together, see if it fits. Very quick sprue tour before I dive in and cut some of these pieces off. You get a nice, uh, a nice, a tiny little decal sheet. There. I'll have a look, closer look at that later. I'll just put that aside so I don't lose it. Uh, all the parts, are, all the screws are in one bag, unfortunately. Okay, and there's only one major sprue and a few other little ones and a clear part sprue. Let's open this up. 
So I've zoomed in nice and close here, hopefully you can see the detail. It's very smooth, nice shiny plastic, very good quality. I can't feel the usual sort of roughness and rough texture you get with the sort of the cheap sort of molds that have sort of been coming out lately. <coughs> Ravel. Um, yeah, so the, the detail looks quite crisp. So let's just quickly look at these doors. So these are the, op the open doors with hinges bolted on and these are the doors that are done, uh, done together. I'm just going to turn this over quickly. Uh, so yeah, so obviously they slot in nicely like that. See, this is how aircraft models should be done. I'm gonna, I don't care, I'm going to keep drumming, beating this drum. Um, I just recently reviewed and built something and I'll share with you very soon. It's a, an old uh, Star Wars kit that does this. And I'm like, why doesn't all kits, all kits do that? It's, how hard was it to put these extra pieces in? Okay, anyway, we got some seats here and unfortunately uh, there are some ejection uh, pin marks on those seats, but you will not see them, especially if you put some easy tape um, seat belts on there, or there's no seat belts in the kit. Uh, these are the pilot and co-pilot seats. I'll, I'll be putting crew in mine, so they'll be covered up. So who cares? Let's move on to the tailpiece here, and uh, these ribs look a little bit exaggerated, but perhaps that's how they are. I'll have to check the references. But the panel lines are beautifully crisp. Let's get out my little pointy, sticky thingy. Really lovely panel lines. Okay, so this is one. Is it one forty? Yeah, one forty-eight scale. I forgot what scale it was. <laughs> Um, you know, I just built the FX Sabre in 148 scale and the panel lines are twice that width. I don't know why they can't do it. Let's move on to the engines. They're looking, they're okay. They're fairly, I think these are junior wasps. So just a single, single bank, nine cylinder engine. They're okay. And I remember when I was doing the I-16, the engine wasn't that great. Maybe some aftermarket, maybe add some, some wires in there or just do it out of the box. Save yourself the trouble and just build a nice model. So we've got some parts here for the um, radio and so forth. There's two sets of wheels, and I believe from the instructions, I think these are the wheels up version. I'll show you the wheels down. And they're one piece, which is really good. So uh, there is a mold seam line on, on the center there, but that will take about one scrape and you're finished. The propellers are really nice. I can't see any sink marks on those. I'm just going to flip over and on the back, no flash. Okay, all looks really, really lovely. There are the posable ailerons with the rib texture there. That might be overdone, but I don't know. We've got some of the tail planes there. Again, that uh, ribbing looks a bit thick, but panel lines are beautiful. Okay, we've got the exhausts here. Have a look at these exhausts. So they're nicely drilled through. Um, you wouldn't have to do anything that. Just put a bit of black wash in the middle there and you get the nice effect. All these linkages for the landing gear, if you're going to do wheels down, look really well done as well. I'm quite impressed. Let's look at the next sprue. And in fact, there isn't a next sprue. That was the full, the only full big sprue, you know, a runner, I should say. That's a technical term. And now we get these sort of short, uh, short, not short, short, but sort of small ones. So here's a few large halves, and let's have a look at these panel lines again. Uh, they look quite nice, quite petite, maybe slightly overdone for the scale, but I wouldn't be putting a wash in those. I'd just be um, highlighting them just slightly. And we've got the tail wheel here as well. Okay, uh, I have to be very careful that <laughs> they've molded on the aerials. Can you see that on the upper side of the fuselage? Um, yes, yeah, so I protect them with a bit of tape before going ahead. We've got two small tiny sprues and I'll show you the wings. Um, these must be the blanking off plates for the engines and for the bays. They look all right. And here's the, I think, that's a different nose. I'm not sure what part that is. Um, and we've got, these are the wheels down wheels uh, or they're, they're slightly different rib texture to the other ones but they also include these brakes so you actually see the brakes uh, you put them on the on the inside there all right let's go to the last two major pieces and that's the wings okay we've got the wings here and they look lovely they look really well done again nice panel lines that have all gone across we've got the, I love how it's one piece here you just sandwich the other one together uh, there's a tiny amount of flash on the wingtip there and a tiny amount on that other side but that should go away fairly easily uh, it looks like the lower wing is actually inset to this one so that's all right the attachment points are nice and petite this looks like a really lovely kit I'm glad I um, pulled it aside and decided to have a look at it because you know we need to support the Ukrainian uh, companies you need to go out and buy their kits they're um you know, they're literally under fire. Now, here we go. Look at this. Woohoo! 
it looks like these are the wheel wells and it looks like those parts for the I'm just looking at them yep the parts for the closed wheel well doors have those little pegs so that should just go schlot straight in oh I'm tempted I'm just going to cut them off and I'm going to put them on to check them out um, yeah the engine cells look nice again uh, there's there's no flash on this one the flaps are posed to close so sorry about that for you guys who want to do flaps down which to me looks ridiculous anyway I shouldn't say that they look like a parked car <coughs> no, I shouldn't say that either <laughs> we're gonna get in trouble all right quick look at the clear parts let's zoom in really nice and close and yeah that's quite good uh, not a hundred percent perfect but good enough and nice and clear I can't see any bubbles or scratches or what have you there's a fair few parts here because there's lots of windows and lots of things going on they're a nice nice thickness and uh, yeah they look like the the attachment points and ejection pin marks in the right spot to, easy to get off so yeah let's just go ahead and start putting this I'm back at the instructions because I filmed a review of the decals and I got lost because again I was like well where are the decal where are the decals going and they don't actually tell you and they do um, <laughs> but you have to look very hard so let's just zoom in here uh, on the instructions and you'll see that most of them are on this side there is a registration number on near the tail there number two and uh, there it is again on the other side there but most of them are at the nose here so we've got the the box art the, the box art the <laughs> nose art uh, Magic by Moonlight, you've got the pilot's name, and then you've got the crew chief on the doors. Because I was looking everywhere for, where's the 4.8, I'll show you. Where's where's the 4.8186 sticker go? Where does the C18S sticker go? I was like, oh, no, that's actually the kit stuff. <laughs> so yeah, it's only these propeller decals, uh, the nose art, and the pilot and crew chief, and the registration details. That's it. So, quite easy. The, there is a little bit of carrier film, you can see in the glare there, but not really. It's only really on these. <laughs> superfluous ones there's almost nothing on the other ones the nose art looks really nice uh, and yeah it's very thin when I drag over there there's barely any carrier film so that should um, dissolve itself under your normal nice decal solution so there yeah, that looks really good I don't think I can overstate how much bliss that, that gives me look at this they've got little pegs there little holes I mean little holes little pegs you get the piece you put it in the hole. Ah, it's done. Now that takes me to do that. Usually takes me at least if if it's if I'm lucky five minutes. If I'm unlucky, like some Tamiya kits, even some you know trumpeter kits, thirty minutes per door. Look at that. Done. Wheels up. Woohoo! All right, let's move on. I'm super excited. First impression with the wings. They go together seemingly well. I had to uh, very carefully just. Remember the flash I told you, the wing tips here, they go, this is the underside, they go to the top side wing. They did interfere with the fit, so just a case of a couple of swipes with a sanding stick and they went. And also just this piece down here also needed, and there's still a little bit of a flanger I need to clean up. But yeah, they all align very, very nice. So all I've done is cut off the nubs and um, I haven't even put a sanding stick to anything else apart from those bits where the flash were. And it looks like everything lines up. The landing light here lines up nicely on this edge. I'm just going to zoom in. So you can see what I'm talking about. The only issue that I can see is it seems to be a slight misalignment here on these nacelles, but that's because I, ha I haven't done anything to them. I haven't sanded them, haven't, there's no backing plate in there to, to play with or anything. So it's the middle section, I think just needs a little bit more finesse. I got it to line up nicely there, those vents, they're lined up. And those nacelles, when you put the backing plates for the engines just to take care. But when we talk about the, the leading edges and the trailing edges of the, uh, the the wing itself, everything lines up really, really nicely. That's that's going to be super easy to, to glue together. So let's move forward with the fuselage. You must mask these these uh, antenna off and this there's two down below as well. I mean, I do like the fact that they've molded them in so you don't have to uh, put them in yourself, but oh, they're going to get snapped off in construction. I've already uh, bent one of them, I think, just taking them off the sprues. So... Anyway, going around, there are a couple of faults, and I want to point out the faults first. There are some fairly significant sink marks here. You can see that there and there, because that's about the only, um, if you, I don't know if you can see inside the fuselage, but there are some uh, male, female posts inside here. This, and it was interesting, as I was putting this together, I was like, hang on, there's no location pins. There's no location pins on the top, or around the nose, or in there at all. It's just a butt joint all the way around. 
Uh, but the, yeah, where they do have one, there's obvious sink marks there. So you have to fill that in with some putty uh, to smooth that out. Uh, I haven't done any sanding whatsoever. I've just cut off the nubs. The fit's really, really good. But there is some flash here along the along both halves of down the bottom here, the bottom wing root, and that's I've just done a trial fit to the fuselage. Uh, that has to be removed uh, to get a really, really nice, nice fit. Uh, all the way around, however, the fit looks really, really good. No steps, no problems. Uh, this will really work well with Tamiya Extra Thin Glue. That uh, the, the style that I, I prefer is where you just put a dab of glue on, let it go off, hit it with a little bit of. Um, uh, quick extra thin and it's done and just keep moving along moving along by the time you get to the from where you started where you finished uh, the whole thing's glued together so then you can move on now there is a bit more flash here with the tail that's why I haven't put the tail on it's actually quite quite a large piece of flash just sticking up there but it's easy to cut off with a sharp knife uh, but again yeah I'm really really impressed the plastic's so nice and smooth it's the very it's a, similar to the Tamiya or um, yeah, some of the Chinese plastic, it's, it's got that really nice hard quality, so it's really easy to cut and, uh, and sand and play with. So let's move on and get this mated to the fuselage. So I'll, let's put this thing together, see how we go. I haven't removed that flash in the lower bottom of the um, fuselage halves, but it really isn't that much of a problem. You've got that big uh, antenna sticking out the bottom, so be careful when you place that thing in there. So we put that in there and at the front, and it's a nice tight fit. There isn't going to be any big, obvious gaps. Okay, and like I said, this is just all taped together. I've used no glue. So it's a, it, that looks like a nice fit, okay, uh, at first glance. There's no steps, there's no gaps. So we turn it over without breaking those bloody antennas. Oh my God, yeah, almost break, broke the bottom one. <laughs> Okay, come on, there we go. All right. So if you look at the wing root, there is a slight gap there, but that's because I'm not pressing down. If you press down, disappears almost. At the back, disappears. And again, like I said, there's no glue involved here. This is just pressing together, doing a simple dry fit. And I've just got to line that properly because it's not aligned. There we are. And on the other side, press it down, it's gone. So with some care and attention, this is not a uh, A-grade Tamiya kit. Let's not kid ourselves, okay? Uh, it's not perfect and so forth, but the molding quality looks really good. Might have to step up a little bit with engineering and just taking a bit of time and attention when you're putting it together. But yeah, I think this at first glance and taking off the major parts and having a good look at everything. And of course, with that wheels up potential, oh my God, below, thank you, oh my dog below. Um, perfect, nice flat spot there for a for a flight stand but of course you've got to have a nice jaunty angle like I do because I always do that at that angle if that's the horizontal so it fits in my display cabinet it's a quite a wide wingspan what's the wingspan on this it's uh, nearly 30 centimeters so yeah all right I'm really excited don't be surprised if you see this jump up the build queue it looks like a nice fun quick build famous last words uh, but yeah go ahead and get one go and support the Ukrainian model companies they all need our support in this time of um, strife and war and uh, yeah, they make great kits, okay? They really do.